Welcome to the Liberty Baptist Church Missionary Spotlight. Let's highlight one of our missionaries. They work deep in the Amazon jungle of Brazil. We've supported Joel and Gwen Hartman for a long time. And uh, of course, COVID has been attacking worldwide and in their area as well. But uh, praise the Lord, River Travel is opening to allow us to do important business, Joel informs us, even allowing us to get to the big city of Manaus and then to visit and work with our son David, who is upriver, and also many of the Indians that we have been able to reach over a couple generations, they've been able to come down, down downriver with us and visit and that's allowed us to minister with them and working together to continue on our Bible translation. Now this prayer request, two indigenous high school friends of my son and their Brazilian names are Miraci and Brias. They need to be saved. So please pray for them. Now we're moving from the jungles of Brazil to the Andes Mountains of Ecuador. We've been supporting a, a young missionary couple, Will and Laura Lyon. They've been working with these Indians for 10 years. They have a brand new church building, which we help fund as well. And being able to use that building in teaching through the Bible chronologically. They started their work this way. This time they're able to teach through the Bible chronologically with the Indians who've been saved. Five, two men and three ladies are able to help them. These people have been saved and trained by the Lion family. A prayer request. Two of our young adults who were saved last summer and baptized last fall will soon be married in a Christian church service in our new church building. Now this prayer request, the bride's family are pagans. They, they, they believe in this moon worship and they lead this in their village. So please pray that this family, when they attend the wedding, will be saved. And now let's move from the mountains, the Andes Mountains, all the way around the world to Myanmar in Asia. We have a national missionary couple, Vel and Newt Siama. February 1, in the country of Myanmar, there was a military coup. Hundreds killed, thousands in prison. We were restricted in our own home and our ministry shut down. In addition, on March 1, my family got sick. My wife, Newt, and my son, James, felt so much pain that they thought their lives were over. Finally, on uh, April 22nd, the pain subsided. Please continue to pray for my wife, Newt, and my son, James, to be completely restored. The Bible says the prayer of a righteous man availeth much. So brothers and sisters in Christ, let's lift this family up in prayer. And now from Myanmar, let's move to India and let's hear a word from the general director of the World Health Organization. The situation in India is beyond heartbreaking. WHO is doing everything we can, providing critical equipment and supplies, including thousands of oxygen concentrators, prefabricated mobile field hospitals and laboratory supplies. The situation in India is really um, heartbreaking, as the Director General has said, and, the, and the, the exponential growth that we've seen in case numbers is really, truly astonishing. Why did we hear this information? Well, because we have a missionary, Pastor Joshua Madasu and his wife Grace, who've been serving in India, and we've been supporting them. May 5 email says, Dear supporting pastors and partners, as you know, the coronavirus infection is increasing in my country, India. Not only that, but Pastor Madasu and his wife Grace both suffered very serious cases of coronavirus. In fact, he sent previous emails begging for our prayer that God would raise him up. He would be able to preach in uh, on Easter Sunday. They had a whole list of uh, baptized converts or ready to be baptized. And the pictures that you're seeing are a great answer to prayer. God raised him up and gave him the strength. And that was our missionary spotlight for this month. We appreciate your prayers and thank you for your faithfulness.